Who's the Boss Reunion Hour? And what'd you think I'd be doing? Driving a taxi? I'm Tony Danza, and I'm live from New York City. It's the Tony Danza Show. On today's show, it's a very special Who's the Boss Reunion. Together for the very first time since the show ended, the entire cast, behind-the-scenes stories, their favorite bloopers, Tony's home video, and a surprise guest. Now, here's your host, Tony Danza. Oh, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's very nice. So who's the boss reunion? <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so... Welcome, by the way. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited. You know, we have... Uh, you know, this is the original uh, Good Morning America set. And obviously, they've graduated to a bigger and better set, but, but none closer. And, and, and it's just really... It's, it's very intimate. And, and upstairs in our, uh, our little... We have our makeup room and our green room and, and the dressing rooms. And usually, it's very tight, and it's, sometimes it's a little bit uh, annoying. But today, it's great, because it's like this big reunion up there. Everybody just hugging and kissing. And it's amazing. It's amazing to see everybody. Uh, I, I'm really excited to bring them out. I really am. I want to get right to it today. It's a, it's, this is November, remember? November. November. I want to say November. I like to... I feel like Billy Crystal, November. But, uh, but who will be with us in Chicago? Oh, I'm putting everything together today. Uh, but, the, you know, these people... I was thinking about it this morning. Uh, these people... Uh, who's the boss was like such a... You know, like that moment in my life when a lot of things changed. I went from being single, I got married, I had my first child, and, and, Kate, and Emmy was, uh, my wife was pregnant with Emmy when uh, we wrapped the show. And, um, and I was thinking about how important they are to me because it was like my formative years. And um, I, I got a little bit of a piece of tape. I used to take uh, Katie, my uh, college girl now, to, uh, to the uh, tapings. And uh, let me show you a little bit of this. There's Katie. Katie. Is your father the best looking guy you ever saw in your life? Wow. <laughs> wait, wait a minute now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is your father the best actor you ever saw in your life? No. And who's the boss? Daddy. Oh. oh my god. Amazing. You know. She used to say no to everything, so I just would make up every question in the world. You know, did I discover the world? No. You know, everything. So anyway, that's great. And, and here, uh, just so we, everybody uh, uh, sort of sees how the show started. This is how the show started, the first scene of the first show. <laughs> hey, look, Miss Rosine, you got to admit, this neighborhood is falling apart. I mean, look at Samantha. When she starts coming home with black eyes, I think it's time for me to get out. Hey, that's because there were three of those guys, Dad. And anyway, I got one guy sneezing out of his ear. How are you gonna support yourself, huh? Oh, hey, Miss Rosini, I got a great job at a great place. It's all green with picket fences. But you always said you love New York. Yeah, but I love my daughter a lot more. Hey, Miss Rosini, take care of yourself, okay? You too, Tony. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, that was... That was Rhoda Gemignani who played Mrs. Rosini. And you know, uh, by the way, folks, you know, this is, this is here because uh, we got one for everybody in the audience today. Yeah. yeah. And we gotta, but we gotta thank our friends at uh, deepdiscount, deepdiscount.com, right? Dis deepdiscountdvd.com. Excuse me. Thank you guys for getting this for us. You guys, thank you. Um, I didn't make it to the uh, Friars Club uh, uh, tribute to uh, Skitch Henderson last night. I'm sorry about that, but uh, Ruth and, uh, and everybody there, you know, our hearts uh, and our, uh, our thoughts go out to uh, Skitch, and uh, we lost Skitch Henderson last week. And I had a song that, uh, a, a song that I was going to do, uh, it was a parody written to uh, Cy Coleman's Witchcraft. It's called Skitch Man, but they won't let me do it. Anyway, uh, so my brother and I am thinking of you. Uh, today's election day, so get out and vote, everybody. Don't forget, uh, I think we should vote for no more commercials. That's that's what we should vote for. And, and if you're watching, and if you're watching in LA and, and in California, uh, we should vote for no more propositions. That's the other thing that we shouldn't have. Okay. 
Today is the last day of our Campbell's Thanksgiving Day uh, reunion in the city contest. Hey, maybe the gang from Who's the Boss could win. Make sure you write in to tell us your favorite Thanksgiving holiday memories and send along a picture of the family. One lucky winner will receive a trip for 25 to New York City, tickets to a show, and a Thanksgiving feast to remember. For complete details, go to our, webs our website, TonyDanza.com. Don't wait. Do it today. Do it. Just do it. Um, <laughs> Oh, one, oh, oh, let's see. Next week is, sh is Chicago. We're going to be in Chicago next week. Chicago. I can't wait. I'm very excited about that. And uh, our big lost sweepstakes starts tomorrow. Be sure to watch for the first clue and entry information. You could win a trip to Hawaii, a chance to meet the cast of Lost, and more. It's all part of November. <laughs> November. All right. All right, let's go. I want to get him out. I want to get them out here. Uh, it's time to play the game where a home viewer can win up to $5,000 on a Disney Visa gift card. It's a little game we'd like to call... Uh... Hello, dear. Okay. On the phone, we have Molly Wood. No, no, Molly Wood. <laughs> Molly Wood. <laughs> From Lafayette, California. Hello, Molly. How are you? Hi, Tony. How you, you doing? You're watching us on KGL Channel 7. I'm yeah. fine, dear. Uh, I'm so excited today because all the people from Who's the Boss are here. And, oh, I wish I was there. Uh, I wish you were here, too. Molly, that, you must hear that a lot. Mollywood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood, Mollywood. Yeah, they um, probably should have named me Holly. So. Are you going to vote today? I know in California you have all those propositions, right? Yeah. you realize what this is, folks? In California, if the, if the governor can or somebody can't get a uh, thing through the legislature, they just put it on a, on, a, on, a, on a ballot. You have to go vote for it. It's, it's like you've got to hire guys to do it, and they don't do it, and we've got to vote. It's berserk. Anyway, Molly, are you going to vote today? Yeah. Okay. I'll do all the talking, Molly. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, well, Molly, we have to find out what you're playing for. We have an audience member pup dropper here today is, let's see, Tara De Dewarak from Woodbridge, New Jersey. Hello, Tara. <laughs> Tara. Thank you very much. You know, I don't know if you noticed, we've, it's a motif. We have, the, instead of numbers today, we have faces of the who's the boss uh, thing. Yeah. I tell you, my staff, unbelievable. Are they great? Please randomly select a face and drop it in a slot. <laughs> Let's see, who you get? Who you get? Alyssa. All right, she's second there. Drop it! Ooh. Ooh, all right. All right, Alyssa, Alyssa brought you, Tara and Alyssa brought you 15. You'll be playing for $1,500 on a Disney Visa gift card. Oh. What is it, Molly, that you are an expert in? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Yeah. Okay. See how it all dovetails? It's just incredible. Okay. It's a motif. All right. The season three of Who's the Boss? Season three of Who's the Boss? What private school does Samantha consider attending? Ooh, um... I actually knew this yesterday when I asked this It's, uh... It's, uh... It's, a, it's sort of a snooty... snooty. Give me oh. one, one, one guess. Come on. Um... I don't know. Oh, uh, that's not it. I don't know it's not it. No, it's called uh, the Montague Academy. That's right. But don't worry, Molly. We're going to send you an iPod, a mini. Thanks, for that, thanks to PriceGrabber.com. And, Tara, you get a $200 gift certificate to Lobstergram. Thank you both for playing. It's rather dangerous. All right. When we come back, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm telling you. I don't think we've all been together since the rap party. So 13 years ago is the last time this group was together. But right after the commercial, we'll be together again. So we'll be right back. Still to come, some never-before-seen Who's the Boss bloopers. It's the Tony Danza Show, where anything can happen. You're not going to show. Come on. And everything will. Oh, hello, I'm doing a show. This is only on. Tony. 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 This is Tony Danza. My butt looks big in this. The Tony Danza Show. All right. Okay. All right, we're back. All right, it's, it really is tough uh, to put it to words how excited I am uh, right now. You know, this... I tell you, for the first time since we wrapped, Who's the Boss, 13 years ago, we're all going to be on the same stage. It's, uh, it's quite a feeling. First, I can sum up the woman who played Angela Bauer in, uh, in a few words. Let's see. She's smart. She's funny. 
She's beautiful, and she's really one of the great girls in the world. Here's a, here's a look at the first time. These are all the first scenes, the first time Tony Maselli showed up at her door. I'm Tony Maselli. I'm here about the job. Oh, I'm sorry. There must be a mistake. This job is for a housekeeper. That's me, Mr. Goodmop. <laughs> uh, well, uh, my mother's screening everyone. Did you meet her? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Uh, you know, she gave me the once-over, kicked me in the tires, put me up on a rack. <laughs> Well, she should have checked under your hood because you're the wrong sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome one of the great ladies in the world, Angela Bauer. Judith Light. Pretty good, yeah. don't we? I just yeah. want to say something to you, honey. You're not the wrong sex. Oh. <laughs> All right, listen. We've got to get everybody out here. I know. We got one, so this segment is the introduction segment. Right. Our next guest is the baby. was the baby of the group. <laughs> it's hard to believe we first met him when he was just eight years old. Him and his snake, Wilbur. He's grown into quite a man. Please welcome. Oh, excuse me. Take a look. To quite a guy, please welcome Danny Pintaro. Remember, Judith. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. All right, so Dan, welcome to the show. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank okay, you. and you know what's funny is your T-shirt matches the pinstripe. But anyway, oh, look at that. No one, no on one from the cast will disagree that this lady is a true professional. She does have a heart of gold, but she is uh, she's she also has a fist of steel. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first time we met the lovable but um, oversexed Mona. <laughs> ah, Mr. Maselli, here you are, <laughs> and right on time. What a reliable person. <laughs> so, how are things going with you two? In the direction of the door. The door? Uh, Angela, what is the problem? The problem is, Mother, you sent me a man for a housekeeper. Oh, don't be sexist. A man can do meaningless, unproductive work just as well as a woman. <laughs> Please welcome Mona Robinson, Catherine Helmer. So we got this one left, huh? There's one. Isn't it weird? Welcome to the show, Cass. Thank you. Is it weird to see the pilot? That's the oh, pilot. I know. You know. I know. My I know. gosh. It seems like yesterday. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of right, yesterdays ago. All right. <laughs> Finally, as Samantha Mas Samantha Maselli, we watched her go from a ten-year-old tomboy, or I think she was eleven, to a married woman. But to me, uh, she was. O she'll always be the little girl with the black eyes. Take a look. Yeah. Oh, here she is. This is Samantha. Oh, oh, she got that shiner stealing third in Little League. Uh, <laughs> Sam, I want you to meet some real nice people. This is Mona Robinson. Nice to meet you. And this is Angela Bauer. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you, Miss Bowers. You have a lovely home and you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm very flattered. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's another lady with a heart of gold. Aww. Please welcome Samantha Maselli, Alyssa Malama. <laughs> We uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta go to a commercial. And then we're gonna come back and talk. Okay. okay so right. coming up next, the reunion continues with Judith, Danny, Catherine, and Alyssa. We'll be right back. <laughs> Adult 
transformed with sequins and beads. Worshipped by millions. A voice heard around the world. Look what I got for Tony. Richard Simmons is back. Are you sweating for this? Plus, Desperate Housewives' Andrea Bowen. Next, Tony. Besides, right? I've seen all your movies. I've seen every TV show. You know, Our Town, 1955. <laughs> now, I know every song you ever recorded by heart, by heart. Intonations, everything. But there's always been one question I've been dying to ask you. What? How does it feel to be worshipped and adored by millions and millions of women? Nice. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, so welcome to the show. You know, obviously, that was a big day for us when oh, Frank did yeah, the show. Yeah. I got a picture, actually, that, uh, you know, because I flew my mother out. And here's, here's all of us with, uh, and there's Asad Kalada, the director. Nice. I got to check his nose hairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Tony always was on nose hair patrol with this guy. <laughs> he would come after him with a little scissor and no, start trimming us. his. No, that's all true. Us, that's true. true. I, you got something in your teeth. <laughs> I said to him once, I said, Why don't you give me a nose a haircut? He says, I'm wearing it long now. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I welcome everybody. It's so nice to Thank have you, you all here. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so it's so funny to have it's like I can't believe that we haven't been together. It seems like we have. And it's, I think it's the kind of relationships that you make when you, you, even though you don't see a person, it feels like you see them. Or you, you know they're thinking of you and you, you know you're thinking of them. Isn't that? Yeah, backstage oh, yeah. you said, can you believe we're all together? And I said, yeah, it feels totally normal. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Just when's like when's the last time you saw each other? Oh, uh, the rap party. Uh, Is that yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was. All right. And, and when's the last time you saw, you two saw each other? Not that long ago, no, December. Well, that, right, we had a, there was a big event in Los Angeles for Project Angel Food, and that's when we saw each other, oh, which yeah. was August, uh, about a year, so a year and a half ago. And I just saw your play. Uh, no. And Danny's a big, Danny comes to all my stores. Every time I'm playing someplace, he shows yeah. up. Yeah, he always sure. shows up. But, you know, you do too, Kat. I did too, So yeah. I see Catherine, but, but together. Well, it's like I had to get a show to bring us back together. Yeah, I'm so glad you did. I know. Really good. <laughs> all right, so let's do this let's do uh do you remember when we first met Alyssa? i do yeah i remember i was 10 years old i auditioned for the show by the way your voice nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> i know huh Bowers. yeah Bowers. um and i auditioned in new york they flew me to los angeles the next day and i tested for the networks which is a horribly intimidating process mm. Um, at the ABC Entertainment Center, and I read with Tony, who, in my eyes, was always just the cute guy from Taxi. <laughs> I didn't know anything else. And uh, he was so gracious, and we read together, and, and that was it. Yeah, I remember meeting you, and I thought, uh, you know, they had taken us through a whole bunch of kids, and then we'd seen tapes, and they really get crazy, you know, because there's so many people making the decision. Nobody can make it. So, <laughs> but then Alyssa walked in and just wowed them, knocked them over, and... Uh, and then the first, the first table reading of the pilot, Tony looked at me and said, you know, I'm getting old. I'm going to be 33 this year. <gasps> uh -oh. 33 this year. Thank you. So in other words. In December. So, yeah, yeah December. December. But so in other words, even then I was age obsessed. <laughs> yeah. I say that. Right? And you look exactly the same. It Everybody does. does. Uh, Everybody, well, except for obviously except for Danny. Dan. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Danny, wait, wait, when, when did Danny now, what about us? What did we meet? The, that story, my story is that part of the reason I got the job was because I was a little brat. The audition, <laughs> the story is, is Figures, that we, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I used to memorize my lines and I'd memorize the line before mine. And you guys had been doing the auditions all day long. Do you not remember this? I don't remember this. This is bad. <laughs> you, you were sort of kind of saying the lines as they were written. And I stopped and I said, could you please say the lines as they're written in the oh, script? Yes. Oh, though I do remember this. You do? Yes. He now I know why I blocked. He, he, <laughs> he reprimanded you. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And, that, and that I went, it. oh, this is the kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, no, wait a minute. And us, we had a, a, a fateful, we, uh, we did. You know, Judith, uh, we read, 
it was like uh, Christina Rains and oh, I, all the a whole bunch of a whole gals. bunch of uh, yeah, I think it was five w women that right, day actresses right. and uh, and I read with all of them and Judith was last and the bit was that I had knocked on her door after making a fool of myself with her date I chased her date out or some was the great line when he said you say he says to you who is this and you said this is my housekeeper and he said Angela that's the ugliest woman I've ever seen. <laughs> And so anyway, we uh, so we we, we we did the scene, and then you caught me looking at your butt or something, and then I said, "That's the girl." You know? right. And what about us? When did we meet, Kaz? Well, you wait, wait. I was hot for Jessica from Soap. Well, I remember I, that's I yeah. I was hot for Jessica. We met because uh, we were sent off to Vegas to hustle our shows. I was doing soap and you were doing taxi. taxi. And uh, Tony, he was in the seat in front of me and he stood up and turned around and he said, Hi, I'm Tony Danza. And I said, Yes, I know. And he said, You do? <laughs> <laughs> and from then on, we had uh, laughs. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, Catherine was like, um, sort of, um, my soulmate. I mean, I would like, you know, because I was going through a lot of stuff in those days. You know, should I get married? Should I do this? And uh, a lot of times, uh, and Kat I said, was a don't big... marry an actress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys, by the way, do you watch the reruns? Oh yeah. Yeah. Occasionally, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm in a hotel room and I have and I'm sort of flipping. You know, through. it's on four thirty in the morning here. I don't yeah. watch it four thirty. <laughs> do you watch it four thirty? No, do. but it's also uh, on at eight thirty, isn't it? Yeah, it's Don't on eight thirty here, but but four thirty in the morning. And what happened is I I was watching Taxi, and now Nickelodeon put a, put Who's the Boss on against Taxi. No. I don't know oh. what to watch. You know. <laughs> this morning, I'm telling you, this morning when we were getting married and we played tennis together, almost ruined the marriage. Yes, that oh, was bad. Yeah. Don't and, uh, that. and and on Taxi, Simka was going out with Vic Ferrari. So I, I watched. <laughs> How's this? My TiVo recorded it out of the blue, and I was like, "No, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, it just... yeah." It just was like, you know, how it picks random things to that you might like. Wait a minute, Danny Pintaro's TiVo randomly picked who's the boss? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but here's the worst. I want an investigation. Here's the, yeah. <laughs> here's the worst part. My name wasn't listed. It was all of your names but mine. Oh, oh. damn. I was very upset. I want an investigation. Everybody yeah. knows your name. That's yes, that's well. what it is. Now, wait a minute. What about uh, the, the first practical joke is very shortly into the show. The <laughs> Why are you asking me? Because you did it. Because you did it. But you did it. You did it. You did it. You did I did? It. Yes, it was the bathtub scene. <gasps> oh. oh, that is yes. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yes. It was the second show, I think, of the season. I think it night? was. Yes, second show. God, and, I was gutsy. And she, uh, she, I'm supposed to walk <laughs> in on her in, in the bathtub, and she's getting out of the bathtub, and she really got out of the bathtub. <laughs> and I think we have a clip. Wait, how's this? Hi, holy smoke. <laughs> you know, my, oh, God. my, one of my favorite, you don't believe it. <laughs> one of my favorite moments was swinging that rope on the soap, the soap on a rope. All right, look, we got to come, we got to go to commercial. After the break, some never before seen bloopers from Who's the Boss, okay? We'll all be right back. Times like this, it helps it. Somebody comes and helps you, you know, like somebody who doesn't really have an emotional attachment to these. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh Tony, I'm right, really okay. sorry. No. <gasps> Tony! Oh, no! No! Angela, this is from the fireplace! Oh, I think what she's trying to say is your mother's calling you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, Heather, here's your gun. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? 
That's um, of course that's Danny, but that's Heather Tom yeah. from uh, what oh, show is she? Yeah, Guiding Lighter. Guiding, she's, she's on one of very famous. Big on one big of those soap, soap opera now. actress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're back, of course, with the, the Who's the Boss reunion. Uh, you know, we did uh, 199 episodes, and uh, in those, there was about to be a few mistakes, uh, and we dug through uh, our personal home videos to see what we could find. Let's take a look at. Let's start with Judith. Oh, okay. take a look. <laughs> I don't know my Lex line. <laughs> She would have wiped the floor up with her. Are you kidding? I forget what I say. I don't believe this is going to happen. It wouldn't be the same. Stand by. Oh. <gasps> oh! Hey. Oh! You're in the kitchen. Yeah, she's always. Oh! She was always. Always good in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can yeah. Well, we used to have those uh, games where who, who, who could uh, remember, who, who would make more mistakes in a show. That's we right. actually had a contest to see who would win. Now, Dan, you had your moments as well. Oh, right? no. Yes, yeah, so let's see some. Let's go to the videotape. <laughs> he found a pair of men's closets in mom's pants. No. <laughs> Don't step on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bold haircut, gosh. So fun to look back. Oh. It's really weird to go, it's just like, uh, it's really weird to go down memory lane like yeah, this yeah. a little oh, bit, you know? <laughs> now, Kat, you were, you're known, and we, we the, your reputation, uh, and, and you come by it honestly, is that you don't make mistakes, you know? But, of course, uh, we found a couple. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Coffee break. Well, not for at least a week, not since Mo, uh, and... <laughs> And I am not going to let her ruin... Oh, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> hold it! <laughs> what haircut was that? Yeah. Eight years. Eight years, we found two mistakes. Yeah. 199 yeah. episodes. I know, yeah. Well, at least we got a couple of yours, too. Of course you yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as Angel left, I snuck him in the bathroom. Good <laughs> idea. We can that... Jonathan's, I just tripped. <laughs> I am not coming home because I'm daddy's little girl. I'm doing it because I think it's what's been that horse isn't my shot. <laughs> She saw the horse. You know, that horse is in my shot, man. How about that hairdo, oh, huh? That second hairdo. Was, no, the last one was beautiful, though. The last one I liked. That's when I, I, I remind you like. I Why didn't you tell me you didn't like the other one then? <laughs> you could have saved me a lot of angst. Now, you know, the good thing is, is that I never made a mistake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, oh, stop it. Roll I, it. Yeah. <laughs> Truth is, the, the love that Billy can get in our house, he can't get anybody anywhere else. And, and I don't know this line, and I don't care. <laughs> it says undeclared income. It says, it says, it says, it says. What does it say? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody's starting to have second thoughts about going so far away for college, huh? Dad. Oh, what's the matter? Old Swiss U is a son of the son of the son of the son of the you know what's funny? Uh, you know what it reminds me of, though, is that how much fun we had doing oh, it. Oh, I mean, you know, just to talk about it for a second, how much fun it was to do, to do the show. Oh, wait a minute. You know, oh, no, we have, no, no, we have a, uh, we have a I'm door. Scared. We have a door. Too. Let's see who's there. Let's look. I hope I'm Can you tell who that is? <laughs> look, wait, let's see. Open up, Tony. It's Mrs. Rossini. Oh, 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 <laughs> you brought, you, uh, hey, here, let me, you brought the, you brought the ziti. The ziti, yeah. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might be a little hungry. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rona Jones.
Gemignani, everybody. Come sit down. Join us. Sit down. You from us all. With Come on, all sit over there. Stages. Get in, get in. You Let me get in. You know how? You know how? Come they in. kept me in a broom. They here. kept me in a broom closet. Yes. <laughs> I mean, wait a minute. We're not kidding. We did have her in a broom closet. No. We didn't. Well, we didn't have a dressing room for her. We had to hide her. What do you want from me? I was, I was underground, and the produ one of the producers here on the phone said to me, "Think of yourself as Dick Cheney." <laughs> <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Rhoda, you, you got a favorite memory? I mean, we've been talking, we've been down memory Ooh, lane. Oh, yeah. down memory lane. Well, I'll tell you, it's a very selfish memory. May I? Sure. May I? May oh, right I? Now, I have to set it up a little bit. You know, you, you guys know, this. these people here, their chemistry, unbelievable. And they had it from minute one in the pilot, the chemistry. But as you saw on the clips, the first clip there, I was up in, you know, the window. Not a big chance for chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when, when they brought me back a second time, because Tony went back to Brooklyn. Right, right. Right, yeah. And there I was. And we did the scene. All of us did the scene. And Tony looked at me, and he had this combination smile. It was like, uh, uh, what a piece of work. And <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and he said, my Aunt Rose. Yeah. <laughs> he said, you're my Aunt Rose. And I'll tell you, that was it for me. Yeah. I thought, I'm part of the family. <laughs> well, you certainly were. You are, that's for sure. OK, look, when we return, it's the audience's turn to ask some questions. So come back, all right? We'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, get in and get a feeling for your car. Come on. <laughs> oh, what a feeling. I should be very annoyed with all of you for waiting up. But I'm not, because I want to share something with you. I've been pinned. What? Where's the pin? My pin. It was on my sweater. Oh, my gosh. I found it. You know, if one scene, if one scene sort of characterizes somebody's character, that might be it, right? I, I'd say so. Yeah, I that think so. Was, you know, I watching think so. all these clips, it really makes me realize what we really crossed a lot of lines that weren't crossed mm -hmm. in no, that we, time in, in television. The single true. mother, the man sort of doing the gender switching role and... I mean, it no, was, it it was, was very a, progressive it was, for, for that time. time. It really was like sort of revolutionary, yeah, you know, in its own ways. silly way, I guess. Okay. All right, so we have some uh, some audience members who uh, want to ask us some questions. So please, uh, what's your name, dear? Grace. Hi, Grace. Welcome Hi. to the show. What's your question? Um, I'd like to know how come you and Angela never got married on the show? Well, good that's a good oh, question. That's a very good question. Would you like to answer that no, question? No, I, I think I'll let you answer. Would you like no, me to answer? No, really. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I always felt that that would be a uh, compromise of what the original idea of the show was. They weren't supposed to be married. It was a show about two people who never got married, who never could get together. By the way, we're going to do a scene next segment, the lost scene from Who's the Boss, and it might just settle that question. All right. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Grace. Yes, love. what's your name? Hi, my name's Cheryl Milano. Hi, Cheryl. Milano? Hi. Hi, hey, wait a minute. If you're related, you can't ask a question. No, not at all. It's a married name, so I'm not. Okay. Um, I wanted to know how you might have been fatherly to both Alyssa and Danny while you were doing the show. Oh. Well, I, uh, what do you think? Oh. Might have been. Well, I, I was a little bit protective. What are you trying yeah, to say? Yeah, a little bit protective. I had two Italian fathers. I had my own and Tony. Yeah, and what every about... time I date someone, he'd say, who is this guy? Bring him around. I want to meet this guy. Bring him over here. And, and, and Dan, I, I was uh, I was also, you know what I did a lot of, uh, we had current events day. We did. We always did that every current, Wednesday morning. Current events. And also with, when the kids made good grades, you yeah. posted their, posted their yeah. report cards was, up. You remember very, you used to make all the very, executives come was very important. Important. And you'd ask yeah. them questions. You'd say, did you do your homework? Did you do this? What yeah. are you doing about I, school? I really oh. think, you know, uh, one of the things that happens, uh, I've always felt this way, is that one of the things that happens with, with child actors is that they end up around actors. 
And actors don't have much time for anybody. They're doing their own thing. <laughs> and so we just tried to make it. And by the way, it wasn't just me. It was Judith. It was, it was it. Catherine. Yeah. It was everybody on the set. The guys that worked, the, the crew guys and the producers. And if, if I may everybody say, was worried about the kids. If I may say, this is the reason that Danny and I did not hold up convenience stores and <laughs> that, that other child actors did. Yes. It was these people that, that really... But I, I was, especially with Alyssa, I was really, you know, there'd be guys, all of a sudden there's guys hanging out watching yeah. rehearsal. What are you doing here? Oh, we're watching rehearsal. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out. For I me, said. though, the most telling moment was you came to my Eagle Scout ceremony years after the show ended. Yeah, well, and, uh, Danny made Eagle Scout. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I'll say something. One of the most uh, memorable moments of, of the whole of knowing him, he said uh, in his speech that I was like a second father to him. I'll never forget that, Dan. Never. It was wonderful. You were like a second father to me too. Yes. <laughs> and to me. <laughs> call, call me daddy. <laughs> All right. Yes, dear. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, welcome to the show. What, what's your question? Do you think there'll ever be a Who's the Boss reunion show? Well, this is it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is it. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. We, we were actually talking about it, but uh, we're definitely going to have the Who's the Boss lost scene in about uh, five minutes. <laughs> yes. Next up. <laughs> Catherine. Um, hi, Catherine. Are you anything in real... No, my name is Lisa. Oh. Oh, hi. Sorry, Sister Catherine. Good <laughs> one. Um, are you anything like your, your character, Mona, in real life? I can't oh. tell you the number of times mm. I've been asked this. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you? Well, I've been married to the same person for 42 years. If I... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... Yeah, but... But he's he's a lot younger than you, right? I mean, he's, a, he's like a... Gorgeous. If, yeah. I, if I were like this character, I don't think I would have had a husband that long. <laughs> oh, but that's why you have a husband that long, yeah, maybe, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just a... It's the uh, it's that come yeah, hither... It's, it's, uh, yes, sir, what's stuff. your question? <laughs> Hi, Tony. Um, I've seen you tap dance on your show here with Alyssa, and I think I've also seen you do the same tap dance with... Um, Danny, and right. I was wondering or hoping if the three of you might be able to do that too. All right. Oh, oh we are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you want to do it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, here. Excuse me. How are you doing those heels? I can do it. All right, so this is. Um, which side? Uh, here we go. This is this thing we used to do for the audience I'll when we were kids. This. And we were, like I made ingrained. them do it when they were kids, and it was really cool. Then they got to be 17, they were like, another yeah, thing, you know. So cool. All right, but it goes like this. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Did you ever wonder? Did you ever wa ha wonder what happened to Angela, Tony, Mona, and Samantha, and Jonathan? When when we come back, we'll find out. We'll show you in the Who's the Boss Lost scene. We'll be right back. You know, one of the things I get asked about is whatever happened to Tony and Angela? Did they get married? Did they have kids? All your questions are about to be answered as we present to you Who's the Boss? The Lost Scene. Here's where we left off 13 years ago. So, what are your qualifications? <laughs> uh, well, um... <laughs> you got the job. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, boy, you know, thanks, guys. Thanks for helping me pack up, you know. You know, I just can't believe it. I, I can't believe that I never got married to Angela. Now I'm off to Japan to, 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 to manage a Japanese baseball team, the Yamamori something or others. And the, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just hope they have sushi parmesan there, you know. Ooh. <laughs> no problem, Tony. I mean, even though I'm CEO of Bauer & Associates, I've got all the time in the world for you. Oh, what a, what a nice kid. What a good kid you are. Hold on. What? Yeah. What? 
We lost the account? I will rip your lungs out. You are fired. I can't believe this. Yeah, he's a real softy. Yeah, holy mackerel. Hey, Samantha. Hmm. Samantha. Yeah. Samantha. What? It's like saying, Samantha, where is my, my grandson, Tony Jr.? Oh, uh, he really wanted to be here, Dad, but Hank had to take him to math camp. Math camp? I thought he was going to baseball camp. Yeah, Dad, when it comes to sports, Tony Jr. isn't a chip off the old Masali. Oh. oh Oh, I don't care what you... Stop you, it, it, Mother! I cannot, I cannot, please. I'm sorry. Mother, what do you mean you're not coming to Florida with me? Well, well, that's why I'm selling the house. I'm sorry, dear, but my new boyfriend wants me to move to Hollywood with him. Really? Uh, Mona, who's your new boyfriend? Colin Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'll take this, dear, because... Uh, I certainly know you won't be needing it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's it then. Come on, come on. I'm, up, I'm upstaging oh, okay, you. Okay, okay, good. Jonathan's a corporate big shot. Mother's off to Hollywood. And, mm. well, Samantha's got her little baby, and you're going to eat sushi parmesan. And I guess, I don't know where, where does that leave me? I'll tell you the truth, uh, Angela, there's uh, something I, I always wanted to say. <sighs> Live from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> Danny. Take a bow. Ready? And now we bow. All right. Some final Who's the Boss memories when we come back. We'll be back. Hey, no, no. There's a time for love and a time for living. Take a chance and face the wind. Yes, Judith Light, Danny Pintaro, Catherine Helmer, Alyssa Mil Milano, and of course, Rhoda Germagnani. Studio One and you've been wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching at home. I had a ball. I love you guys. Thank you for coming. I want to do a little bit of this. There's a time for love and a time for living. You take a chance and face the wind. An open road and a road that's hidden. A brand new life around the bend. Hey, bye-bye, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. See you tomorrow. Thank you.